Hi. What's up? Um, hi. I've been planning on making this for such a long time. I moved in here to my first apartment August 2020. And this is probably one of the only things good that has came out of 2020, including this, this girl right here. Well, I'm gonna be filming a video about Clover. If anyone's interested in that, that will be coming up soon. Just a story about her and like, her rescue story, I guess, and how I ended up getting her. Oh, also, if you didn't notice already, my eyes, not their usual color. These are the contacts that I got from TTDI. These are the Polar Lights gray ones. Uh, these contacts allow me to catfish so many people because they look so real. I'm gonna start out showing you my room, and I also have a bathroom. It's my first time having my own bathroom which is pretty freaking awesome. Before I moved in here, that was what I was most excited about. So yeah, right, apartment tour, right, okay. We're gonna get into the apartment tour because obviously that's why you're watching. Okay, so starting out with the first part of the tour is my desk area. Over there is a bunch of random crap. Um, we're just gonna ignore that. And here's my laptop with all the beautiful laptop stickers. And here's the view of the courtyard. This is where I take Clover to do her business. And there is a lot of dogs that live here. Okay, right here, Christmas card from my aunt. Right here, we have a foam finger representing our school. Here we are. This thing right here is a Polaroid picture stand or, well, some sort of picture stand. I don't know, the Polaroid falls out of it sometimes but I thought it was cute. I got it from TJ Maxx, I believe. And then here we have a lamp. I don't know why it's bent that way. Cute, cute, yeah, um, that's just a little squishy thing. All right, and under the desk, some cords. Trash can labeled trash from Walmart. Great purchase, hole puncher, camera charger, laptop charger, all that. And then this right here, um, I just keep supplies like for school and like headphones and stuff like that. Moving on from the desk, right over here, we have a new sweatshirt I got from AliExpress. It was like 10 bucks, total steal. Um, a stuffed animal that I had out for Christmas. Clover really likes that one, but she is not allowed to chew on him. So this is a storage ottoman that I got freshman year. And here I just keep um, extra sheets and blankets. So this is Clover on my bed. This is her favorite spot. She's here all the time. And this blanket I have on the bed is to try to keep dog hair off of the white quilt. Usually it works pretty well. She knows she's supposed to lay on the blanket, so we have a good system going on there. And up here we have my photo wall, which I recently did. It took me a while to decorate my room because there was a lot going on first semester with school and stuff and I didn't really have time to find decorations, but I printed out these photos from CVS and some of them are my photos, some of them are like um, those cute stock images that people use for photo collages, like as you can see there's Spongebob and then there's some patterns and stuff, neon signs, very cool. Some stuffed animals, of course. This is Buttercup. And um, this is a stuffed animal heating pad. So this is a little moon mirror that I also had in my dorm freshman year. Some crystal lights, actually, let me turn those on. Here's the full effect of the crystal lights. Those are also from TJ Maxx. And here we are. Oh, also, I can show you under the bed. I don't know if anyone cares, but here's under the bed. Under here, I just have art supplies and um, a Brita filter and laundry baskets. And then I also keep a sleeping bag under here, an extra quilt that I had last year, and then my suitcase is down there as well. And there's some paints that I really need to use. Okay, so right next to my bed, of course, I have my nightstand. And I have my clock that I've had for as long as I can remember, um, some sleep lotion, and a fake plant that I also have had for forever. Um, here's my water bottle. Um, yeah, nice sticker. There's more on the back. TV remote and glasses case. 
And then under the nightstand, I have a little bin with um, this lights projector thing, medications, gum, and phone chargers. And then these are just some Christmas gifts that I still have to give people. Okay, right over here, one of my favorite things in my room is this Arthur Fist mug that I painted when, um, whenever that meme was popular, I went to a creative art studio with my family and I decided to paint this. Candy from Christmas. And here is my jewelry box I got from Amazon. Um, yeah, so I keep all my earrings and bracelets in here. Here I have perfumes, lotion, makeup mirror, and down there just some extra decorative stuff. And here is where I keep all my camera stuff. So moving on from the shelf, we have the dresser. This TV was my Christmas gift. Speaker, my phone, Christmas card. And then in here I keep um, bras and stuff, shorts, um, sweatpants and jeans and leggings. So all my pants go in here and then shorts in there. Right here we have my necklaces and this necklace stand is from Amazon and this is a painting that I did I want to say 2017 I did that um, in art class in high school and here are some Polaroid pictures here I'll show you the Polaroid pictures that's me and my cousin with my cousin's dog you can't really see it but it's there and then me with a dog, his name was Einstein, um, he was a Dachshund Beagle mix, he was really cute. He was a therapy dog that came to visit my dorm every week. Anyways, back to over here. I have a bunch of makeup stuff over here next to my necklace stand. And then in here I just keep like hair accessories and makeup. Here we have my laundry basket, you can thank Walmart for that one. Then over here we have my mirror that was previously in my bedroom moved it to here when I moved in. These light up finds are from Romwe. They were literally like two bucks. I highly recommend getting those. And then another drawing here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a recurring theme of desserts. So this poster used to be in the basement of our house. My mom was doing a lot of projects over quarantine and she turned this poster that we had in our basement into some framed artwork. Over here, I have all my jackets and coats. Here, of course, we have the essentials, all my face masks, and then down here, my keys. All right, entering the bathroom, one of my favorite rooms. There's me, canvas of Lil Peep in the bathtub with LaCroix behind him. I thought it was really fitting to put in a bathroom. There's the toilet. Here's the sink. It's a little bit messy since I just got back from visiting home in Michigan. Yeah, here's all this. Um, box for the contacts that I'm wearing right now. Behind here on the door, I just put a Hawaiian lei here that I had because I felt like it matched that. And then I have a beach towel and regular towel. And then here we have bathroom shelf. I don't know why this is here. This is a water bottle for Clover that I ordered online like for when I take her on long walks. You fill it up with water and you push that button and it comes out. Haven't used it yet because I just got it but Felt like that was a good investment. And here we just have towels, washcloths, some makeup that I still have to put away, shower cap, some Clorox wipes. And right here we have my shower. That's the shower. Very nice, very nice. And this door right here is my closet. Okay, so fair warning, it's kind of messy and literally all my shit that I own is in here. Here we have a hanger with my robe and some bags. And then once we enter, turn on the light. There we go. Some cleaning supplies, clover supplies and more cleaning supplies. Um, trash bags for the bathroom garbage, tissues, shoes, a laundry drying rack, and mini vacuum. This looks a little interesting, but this is um, a wig, obviously, and I decided to hang it up on like one of those command hooks. My belts and hats, random shoe boxes, my tripod, hats in there, and pictures, and there is holiday decorations. And then up there, I have some stuffed animals from home. So here, I keep all my tube tops and crop tops. And then this is Clover's little sweater. Down here, some hand towels and bags. 
And then in here is where I keep swimsuits, socks, and t-shirts. All right, so that's the bathroom in my closet. And I also forgot about this. Very useful. I keep some stuff in here, including these um, Paw Patrol band-aids, as you can see. All right, so moving on from my room, I'm gonna go to the door. And if you walk out here, there is a hallway. And this is the room of one of my roommates. There's three other people that lived here. I think I mentioned that. And then here we have Clover's food and water bowls. So there is the hallway. Oh yeah, and then I have a whiteboard on my door. This is Clover's leash. I just hang it up on there. Here's the front door. You can see who is there before you open the door. So honestly, necessity. All right, so I'll show you the kitchen counter first. And then, oh, there's my coffee. This is the counter. We have a kitchen sink, some cabinets, and we also have a dishwasher, but we don't use it. It's really nice to have though. Oh, I got this rug from TJ Maxx. We went there and got a couple decorations for the kitchen and stuff we needed. The kitchen cooking area. We have our stove top and we have an oven. This cabinet right here, I keep a lot of my food in. Here it is. And then down here is where I keep Clover's dog food. Here we keep um, just cooking stuff, spices, salt, pepper, stuff like that. Ziploc bags. Um, and then up here I keep more of Clover's stuff. Not that interesting, but um, I keep some more of her stuff there. Cutting board, toaster. So this appeared after I returned here from being home for Christmas. It's a nice basket. I don't know whose it is, but I think one of my roommates got like a gift basket or something. Um, paper towels, some pretty flowers, Keurig. In here, we have a fruit basket. And then here is just where we keep cups, plates, and bowls. The laundry room is right over here. I'll give you a quick glimpse into that. Not really anything interesting. We keep some cleaning stuff in here. Okay, and then down here are my other two roommates' rooms. Of course, we have the garbage can and some trash that I need to take to the trash room. I'll probably do that after I finish filming. Paper bags, recycling bin. This is the TV area. And I'm not gonna take credit for any of these decorations because the majority of these decorations I did not put up. So thank you to my roommates for being freaking amazing decorators. Um, yeah, actually I'll show that off right now. Okay, this, this I can take credit for. Um, for legal reasons, this is a joke, but these are signs from Whataburger. So down here we just store some random stuff. Here is Clover's dog bed and a really cool candy cane. Coffee table and Clover's toys are kept in this basket right here. Photo collage of me and my roommates. If you take this off, um, there's a little light switch for the, the hanging lights and that turns on, so that's pretty dope. And here's the couch, mini Christmas tree, and now I will show you the balcony. Look who decided to make an appearance. This is a glass table that I got for $8 from Goodwill. And Clover is looking over the balcony. Here's the view of the courtyard. We also have some lights set up here. Lots of good times had with Clover here. Lots of running. And then right there is a doggy waste bag dispenser. It's a shoe that was used to kill a bug. Okay, let's go. There you have it. Okay, so that just about sums up the apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing a tour of my living space. And my card is about to be full, so I'm gonna make this quick. Thank you for watching.